Hi everybody, it's Karen and we're going to learn how to make a worry doll today. You might have a kit like this at home with supplies in it, but if you don't, the supplies are really easy to get. But if you have a kit, I want you to dump everything out and then I want you to sort it so you can see your pieces. You should have a little body made out of a pipe cleaner. There are some extra pipe cleaners. There is there are <laughs> some pieces of yarn that are short and there's a piece of yarn that is long. I don't want you to mix the long one up with the short ones because they're for different things. You're going to have material that has a hole in it and you're going to have material that is solid that does not have a hole in it. And I'm going to show you what to do with all of those things to make your worry doll. So, Take one of your short pieces of yarn, and I'm going to hold my worry doll upside down, and I'm going to thread that yarn through the head like I was threading a needle. And then I am going to take the two ends and match them up so they're even. And then I'm going to tie a knot. And when I tie the knot, I'm going to make sure that the knot part is right on the doll's head. So your worry doll now has two strands hanging down from it, and this is going to be the worry doll's hair. I have already added all of the pieces, so you're going to add all of the pieces of short yarn to make hair. Some of you in your kits are going to have six pieces, and some are going to have thick yarn, and you might only have four pieces, but you're going to make sure you put all the hair on your worry doll first. Okay. And later, if you want to trim the hair, you can, but I like long hair on my worry doll. Then you're going to take your long piece of yarn. Again, I'm going to hold my worry doll upside down because otherwise the hair gets in my way. And I'm going to take the long piece of yarn and put it through the head of the worry doll. And I am going to make a little knot, but I'm going to make sure that I still have a very long piece. And the short piece right here, I'm going to snip off with my scissors. So that part right there, snip it off. I'm still going to hold my worry doll upside down because the hair is going to get in the way. And I'm going to take the long piece of yarn and I'm going to wrap it all around the head part of the doll, covering up the hole because this is going to be the face of the doll. You can use all of the yarn. Just keep wrapping it over and over till you use it all up, and that's going to make the face of the doll. When you get to the very end, you just have a little piece of yarn left. You can take a pencil and tuck that piece of yarn underneath the other parts. Now, if you don't have a pencil and you have a glue stick, you could use a glue stick. I tucked mine, but you could put a little bit of glue there and then just press the yarn on top of it. And now we have your worry doll's face. And I have to tell you, you have the hardest part done. Tying the knots and making the face is the hardest part. Now you're going to find your piece of material that has a hole in it. And just like when you put your own shirt on, you're going to put this over the worry doll's head and you're going to pull out all of the hair. You know, when you put a shirt on, sometimes you take all of your hair and pull it out. That's just what you're going to do with your worry doll. Now this is going to be the shirt, or it could be a dress. And what you're going to do, this is a little tricky, push the material close to the head of the worry doll so that you can see the little arm sticking out. I'm going to show you that again. It kind of looks like this. It looks like a cape. And you're going to take it and push it towards the head of the worry doll so you see one arm. Then take it and push it on the other side so now you can see both arms. And now you have a choice. You could take one of your pipe cleaners and put a belt around the piece of fabric and that could be the whole worry doll and that's great or 
you could take a piece of material that doesn't have a hole in it and wrap it really tight around the doll. I like to do it this way just because it gives more color to my doll. And then I'm going to take the little pipe cleaner and I can wrap it around and I can trim it off with my scissors and just tuck it. And if you, if you don't have those scissors, you can just keep winding that all the way around so you have a nice big belt. Now on my worry doll, I don't have a face, but if you want to make a face, you can use a Sharpie. It's better to use a Sharpie and it's better to use black just to make two little eyes and a little mouth. And like I said, if you want to, give the hair a trim or even make it short hair. Remember, your worry doll is your worry doll and it doesn't need to look like anybody else's. But that's what mine looks like. And here's some that some other people have made. You can see that they're all different, different color materials, different color hair, different color pipe cleaner belts. But in the end, the only thing that's important is that it's your worry doll and you made it. I hope you have a good time making your worry dolls.